Hello everybody and welcome to number three in weekly Excel hacks. Uh, this week we've got three, uh, in my mind, really good hacks, but obviously I would say that. Uh, we've got the transpose hacks, which lets you transfer things from horizontal to vertical or vice versa. Uh, we've then got a smoothed line hack, which lets you quickly create uh, much smoother lines on your graphs. Uh, we've then got some Quicken VBA uh, codes, or our super hack, uh, which will now lead to you greatly increase the speed of any Visual Basic you have in your Excel. So let's get started with our first hack of the week. Right, so our first hack of the week is the transpose hack. Um, this one is one I use a lot. Uh, and what it allows you to do is if you highlight a certain area and press copy and then right click in a separate area and go to paste special then there's this transpose option down here and if we select this you'll notice that what it's done is rather than copying my headings how it normally was by just pasting them along the top like that it's actually transposed them and put them down uh, as a vertical column uh, and you can go from vertical to horizontal so we can take these months and just go to paste special uh, and then go to transpose and it will paste them across for us instead uh, we can also do it with a square of data let me just delete that uh, square of data so if i copy all of this i'm going to press over here and go to paste special and then transpose it's going to transpose my entire table so this is really good and it's one of the hacks i use quite a lot so that is it for our first hack of the week moving on to our second half of the week so this is a very quick one uh, and one that i've recently been using a lot because it makes your line graphs look a lot tidier uh, and also makes them a, a little bit easier to understand in certain cases as well so here i have three sets of data uh, along with a line graph which represents them and as you can see it's a bit uppy downy uh, and it gets a little jiggly and hard to understand but what we can actually do if we select one of our series and go to format data series and it brings up this section on your right hand side uh, if you're in 2003 it will bring up a similar box but it'll be a pop-up window over here uh, and if we click on this paint bucket then underneath our line types so we've we've got this smooth line tip box uh, and again it, this would should show it in your 2003 in your pop-up box that's come up if you just tick the smooth line notice the very subtle change there how that line now is a lot more curvy than the previous one uh, and doesn't kind of have such a harsh edge to it like these two do so if i select these and also change them to smooth lines Notice how the corners are all turning into uh, kind of curves. Uh, and it just smooths them out. And now all of a sudden, it just looks a lot tidier and a lot smoother. And also gives the impression that you've got a lot more data than you've actually got. So here I've only got 12 pieces of data. But the way it's set out, it looks like I've got a very consistent data set across the year. Uh, and that is your second hack of the week. Right guys, our final super hack of the week is this one right here. It may not look like much at the moment, uh, but all this macro does is I've created a button uh, and when I'm not in design mode, when I click on this button, it's just going to count up to 250,000 for me. And if you don't know what VBA is, then uh, just uh, pop onto my VBA tutorials uh, and you'll be able to do this particular macro very quickly it's a very simple one uh, if we look into our code you see that i uh, am just looping and adding one to the value of the cell until it hits 250,000. it does however take quite a long time you saw when i run it it took about 10 seconds now there's a couple of lines of code that you can add in that will actually dramatically speed up the time it takes to do this so they are first one is application dot screen updating equals false 
Uh, and what this does is it stops the screen from updating itself uh, with what you're doing. Uh, and that saves a lot of computer memory because a computer takes a lot of memory up updating the screen to show you what's happening. So that although you're not going to see what's happening, it's going to make it run a lot quicker. The next one is application.calculation. And you have to spell it right, obviously. And then you put this equal to calculation manual. When you've got hundreds of thousands of calculations like this, you don't need to be calculating most of the time all of the formulas in your spreadsheet. So this particular line of code will turn off it working out all your other formulas and it will only do your VBA formulas. Um, we then need to just copy and paste these to the end of our code or wherever our code finishes. Uh, and we need to set screen update and back to true. Uh, and then we need to set calculation back to automatic. Uh, and this is very important because if you forget to do it, then it's just going to freeze your, your Excel. So always make sure that you put them back on again. Uh, and if you're not certain that your code's going to go get that far, just do on error, go to error and then put an error handler right before those two at the end. And then no matter what happens, it's going to run these two things at the end. So now, if I click on my button, you'll see it's not showing me the update. And it does it a lot quicker. It does it in about five seconds rather than ten. So in this instance, it's gone about twice as fast. In some instances, it is the difference between it running in about 10 seconds to it taking kind of 10 hours. It's insane. If you've got a lot of formulas in your spreadsheet, then the calculation one especially and the screen updating are going to save you a dramatic amount of time. So that's it for the final super hack of the week and also it for this episode uh, you're able to download this spreadsheet from a link in the description somewhere down below uh, and please subscribe and like the video uh, and you'll be able to catch all the future tutorials and if you haven't already check out the website and go onto our facebook i hope to catch you next week in episode four